I'm here talking with uh, Bill from 3D Chameleon about what he's got here at the show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest. Um, so a lot of people have been waiting for our latest version. This is the Mark IV 3D Chameleon. Um, the 3D Chameleon really, from a hardware perspective, hasn't changed much. However, uh, we've had some major advancements in the software that allow us to have a whole bunch of add-ons um, and we've brought a whole bunch of uh, open source add-ons that we're providing uh, the design files and links to here at the show. So uh, over here we have the Piopoli uh, Magneto X with the 3D Chameleon running on it and four colors there. And then, yeah, that's kind of the first uh, see a live Magneto printing in a show, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but then we have the uh, this little Ender 3 um, V2 here. And it's kind of showcasing some of the things that we've done with the Mark IV. For example, we now have a filament cutter uh, option available. Now, again, what's interesting about this is the Chameleon hasn't changed. It's still 179, uh, but we have a whole bunch of open source add-ons that we're providing all the files for. And this cutter is one of those examples. We provide the links to an Amazon um, shopping list, if you will, for the parts. Uh, the software that we've enhanced actually supports it right out of the box. Uh, we have a motor encoder that just attaches to the uh, extruder motor of the Chameleon. That allows you to, it to detect when filament is loaded and it will automatically calibrate itself by running it into the extruder and running it into the Y adapter. So again, that's all software supported. Here's another one that people have asked for, uh, OLED displays. So we support the standard 1366 OLED display format. So uh, a device like this costs a dollar, can be used. By the way, I might add that this filament or this uh, motor position sensor also costs less than a dollar. I think these are 73 cents. So very, very inexpensive. Here's the uh, servo for the cutter. Uh, it's a standard off the shelf 20 kilogram servo from an RC device and we provide the design files for actually attaching it to the machine. And then one of the most requested features of the 3D Chameleon is the ability to do runout sensing. Uh, so when a filament runs out, we can fail over to the next filament. So we built that into the system as well. Um, so that does kind of like an endless spool. Exactly. Function. But we've also added a couple other features to it. Um, when it when it runs out, you can tell it to switch to the next filament or when it's really cool is you can say, switch to a random filament. And as you're loading them, it, it, they'll automatically resume. Once you've loaded it, they'll resume to be available. But that randomness gives you some really nice, cool things where you can use up all the scraps of your filament, right? Right. Uh, that's so that's kind of cool. Yeah. So those are just some of the ideas that we've done here. Uh, the filament dry box is another one. This actually has a filament buffer built into it. Um, not really a buffer, but it has a mechanism that prevents the filament from tangling. Um, and, you know, again... It's, it's, it's a very inexpensive solution. All of the, what we call their pro add-ons, all they're all open source, all the files are available uh, and all are for supported in the firmware. You can build 100% of all of that for less than $30. So it's a really nice add, uh, step up for that. Well, thanks for spending the time talking to me. I find it very interesting and I am pretty sure this is gonna find a home on the back of my Voron. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping.